Find the Laurent series for f of z equals 1 over z plus z squared in this region here. So let's go ahead and work it out. So there is a formula that we're going to be using in this problem. It basically says if you have 1 over 1 minus w, that's equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of w to the nth power. And this is true if the modulus of w is less than 1. So in this problem, we just have to rewrite our function and somehow use this formula. Now before we start the problem, it's a good idea to think about the region we're working in. We have 1 less than the modulus of z. We somehow want to write this as, in, as an inequality that is less than 1, right? Because we want to use this formula. Well, to do that, the natural thing to do is to divide by the modulus of z. And so we end up with 1 over, the mo 1 over z modulus less than 1. So now we'll take our function f of z, which is 1 over z plus z squared, and we have to manipulate this so that we have a 1 over z term in the denominator down here. Well, if we factor out 1 over z, we're just going to get 1 plus z. But if we factor out 1 over z squared, things work out a little bit differently. Because here you get 1 over z, right? z squared times 1 over z is z plus 1. So we're almost there. We want to match it to this formula here. So this is 1 over z squared times 1 over 1 plus 1 over z. We're almost there. The only difference is that here we have a minus and here we have a plus. But we can easily turn this into a minus sign by writing it as follows. This is 1 over z squared times 1 over 1 minus negative 1 over z. And now we can use the formula, right? This here is our w in the formula. So the 1 over z squared, it hangs out, there it is, times the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And instead of w to the nth power, it's going to be negative 1 over z to the nth power. So this is negative 1 over z to the nth power. Let's keep going. Now before we do, note that we can actually simplify what's here. If you have negative 1 over z to the nth power, you can write this as negative 1 times 1 over z to the nth power. And using the properties of exponents, this is negative 1 to the n times 1 over z to the n. Right? 1 to the n is 1, so I wrote it this way instead of perhaps this way. That's the missing step. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite what we have. So this is equal to 1 over z squared, the infinite sum, as n runs from 0 to infinity. And here we have negative 1 to the n times 1 over z to the n. Now we can distribute the z squared. So we end up with the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times 1 over z to the n plus 2. To the n plus 2. I suppose we could stop here, but let's, let's keep going and clean it up a little bit. This is the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. It's a lot of notation. Negative 1 to the n. And we can bring this upstairs and it becomes z to the negative n plus 2. That's pretty ugly, so let's go ahead and make a substitution. Let's call this piece here k. So let k equal n plus 2. And so when k is n plus 2, n is actually k minus 2. Right, you just subtract 2 from both sides. So this ends up being, let me use a different color, the sum. Now when n is 0, k is 2. So we're starting at k equals 2. And we're going all the way to infinity. And we have negative 1 to the n. But n is k minus 2. 
So this is k minus 2. And then we have z to the negative, well, n plus 2, we said that was k. So negative k. And that is the final answer. So I hope this helps.